Here, we are going to do a very arithmetic sounding problem in a geometric manner. Actually, it's a puzzle which says that there is a zookeeper uh, who has 20 pets in his care. So they are, consist of rabbits, squirrels and mice. And they are found to consume exactly 40 berries in the following manner. That each rabbit gets 3 berries, squirrels get 2 berries each and half a berry is given to each of the mice. And we are supposed to find all possible mixes of the pets. Like, uh, how can we make a population of 20 pets uh, consisting of rabbits, squirrels or mice or just rabbits, just squirrels, just squirrels and mice or whatever combination uh, so that uh, they consume exactly 40 berries in the, at the given rates. Now let us start with a simple case of just rabbits and if the rabbits vary from 0 to 20 in this manner, the consumption of berries by the rabbits would vary from 0 to 60 like this. And then next to that we can plot uh, the mice say again from 0 to 20 and their consumption would vary like this and then we are going to overlap these two consumptions by just mirroring them like this. So here we are getting a combination of 5 plus 15, 10 plus 10, 15 plus 5, 20 plus 0 so 20 pets everywhere and together their consumption can be found by just adding the y coordinates of these two lines. So this is the consumption graph of mice and rabbits together. Now suppose we throw in the squirrels in this mix. In that case, we can't overlap the squirrel line over here because then uh, this sum of 20 would be violated. So somehow we have to take the rabbit line, mice line and squirrel lines and put them on equal footing. So we'll form a equilateral triangle with them, something of this sort. So here is uh, the variation of squirrels from 0 to 20, rabbits 0 to 20 and mice 0 to 20. And the interior of this equilateral triangle can be filled with grid lines like this which are parallel to the sides of the triangle. And everywhere the three lines meet or the three grid lines meet would be a valid population mix. By valid I mean where integer number of each pet exist and they add up to uh, 20 as well. To understand this concept better, I have created this parametric map and instead of the grid lines, I have shown only the grid points. And at any given grid point, you can draw these three lines at 120 degrees, indicating the number of mice, squirrels and rabbits. So you can read them off from these three axes. And you can even get the consumption uh, in this uh, parametric map. And if you can move it also, say at this point, uh, there will be 9 rabbits, 5 mice, 6 squirrels consuming 41.5 berries and at this point uh, there will be this combination of pets consuming 34 berries and so on. Now let us come back to our original map here and I am going to tilt it like this in a flat plane so that I can draw lines normal to it and I am going to draw the consumption lines of 20 squirrels, 20 rabbits and 20 mice normal to this plane like this. So squirrels, 20 squirrels will consume 40 berries, 20 mi mice will consume 10 berries and 20 rabbits will consume 60 berries. And everything in between would consume somewhere between these three points. So we are going to connect these three points and the triangle that is thus formed is our consumption plane. By that I mean if you have any combination down here, you can just draw a normal up to this plane and the length of that normal up to that plane would indicate what is the consumption of that particular combination. Next, let us put in the additional clue that is given and that is the consumption of all the three pets together is 40. So I am going to take a horizontal plane like this and I am going to move it up 40 uh, units. So if I elevate it to an elevation of 40, then I have an intersection of two planes. The yellow plane indicates consumption of 40 while the red plane indicates the consumptions of all possible pet combinations. So wherever they intersect, that is our solution. So the intersection of the two planes is a line. So this is that line. I have shown this in red here. And we will take that line and we will project it down onto the population uh, mix plane. So this red line here is going to give us the locus of solutions. And we can even mark the points where this line intersects uh, uh, the grid lines okay, or the grid points and those will be our solutions. So here are some grid points through which the solution locus passes. Here is one, here is the second one, third one, fourth, fifth. 
So we are getting overall five solutions. Let's read them now. And for reading them off, we'll be using the three 120, uh, 120 degree lines as we saw before in the parametric model. So these are the lines at every point. So we can read them. So here we are having uh, one, two, three rabbits, one, two mice and 15 squirrels. So like that we can read off every solution. So here is the population mixes of rabbits, mice and squirrels. So we have one, two, three, four and five solutions.